but to him who does not work but believes on him who justifies the ungodly, his faith is accounted for righteousness, just as David also describes the blessedness of the man to whom God imputes righteousness apart from works, blessed are those whose lawless deeds are forgiven, and whose sins are covered, blessed is the man to whom the Lord shall not impute, charge with, sin. Romans 4 semicolon 5 8 Good morning Father, Lord of heaven and earth, hallowed is your name, and blessed are your children. We are so blessed, so loved, so cared for. What an awesome thing this is to be loved by God. My Lord, bless these holy words to me this morning as you lead me to, and through words of hope and faith, promises. I ask this blessing in and by your holy name Lord Jesus. Amen. Your word tells me that faith comes by hearing and hearing by your word. Romans 10 semicolon 17, I hear from you and learn and grow by reading this word and my faith is established as I hold fast to your words of life. My faith can grow like a tiny mustard seed can grow. As I remain steadfast in this holy word I am strengthened. I cannot count the times Lord that your word has blessed me and came to my mind at the right moment. Sometimes it has been a hymn of faith that has blessed me and carried me through a difficult moment. Knowing there have been, and are others of the faith that have endured many trials of their faith too. We have been and are so very, very blessed to have your words of life to us. I know reading in Matthew 24 is where my point of salvation came to a head. It was your words Jesus, that pulled me out of myself and set my feet on the road to life everlasting with you. I did not come as one who earned my right standing with you, no far from it. I came as I was with all my sin stained life. I had not cleaned my life up first, then tried to come to you, I came right then, when my heart was ready and open to hear you and willed to listen and follow your words of life. I am still so blessed that you moved on my heart, and really did call my name from heaven. I am saved by you, Jesus, and not by any good thing I have done or will ever do. Not even a huge amount of good deeds makes me in right standing with you. Your word in this book tells us that salvation is not a wage that we have earned from you, it is a gift. It is freely given by you to any and all who come believing that what you did covered their sins not what we have done, just your life, death and resurrection is what we come to stand on and put our hope and trust in. You came and you, Lord Jesus, fully kept the law and you fully covered all sins by your sacrifice. You finished all the requirement of the law, I never have, and in myself never will. Only by your grace and love do I live, and ever hope to be with you some sweet day. I am learning that faith is ongoing and much more than just believing in what you did, it is believing in you as my all in all. Lord of everything in my life, every area. And the longer I seek you and seek to follow you the more in love I have become with your word and with you, and see your great love for us, for me. You are a wonderful Lord and Savior. Love was and is who you are. Without you there would be no love anywhere. Your love personified and so very wonderfully perfect. Thank you Lord, for coming and showing us the Father, and giving us your words of life. What wonderful, great words of truth it is to be so blessed to know we are yours and you are mine. I am saved by grace, a great gift of God to us, to all, to any who do come simply by faith in you without seeing just believing in what you did for us was more than enough to make us holy. Only your holiness can cover all my sins, past, present and future. Only you and you are way more than good enough. All my former shame and guilt was washed away over 2000 years ago. That is amazing. You are so very good and wonderful to me. Yes. I am blessed to be called one of the children of God. I close this time with you my Lord, in your precious name, that is my all in all and my daily covering, the name of Jesus Christ. Praise you forever, Amen.